you had a lot of success against Utah the first matchup. Um, does that give you extra confidence going into the second game? But you obviously know they're going to make you a focal point of, of trying to counteract what you were able to do successfully against them. Um, I mean, I wouldn't really say it gives me extra confidence. I'm just trying to go out to Utah and get a win. We're trying to, it's a one game tournament, so I'm only worried about the next game and what I can do for my team. I'm not really what I can worry about what I can do individually. What was it about that first matchup that you were doing? I know you did the pick and roll was working. What what was it about that you were able to kind of capitalize on? Um, I was when I was aggressive. I just hit my shots, and my teammates were setting me up. They were getting me open. Jay Hill with the back screen. You know, so Jay Hill had some great screens that game, and um, yeah, they opened up a lot of stuff for me. Yeah, uh, uh, you, uh, you got to the line a lot in that game too. Is that something you uh, you want to focus on? Just kind of drawing contact. Uh, I really, I'm just really focused on going out to Utah and winning uh, just one game at a time. Chris said that you guys give him a lot of confidence because he feels that you guys want him to shoot. How do you, how do you go about doing that? Um, I mean, I just go about it as I really want him to shoot. And <laughs> I really am, know he's going to hit his shots. And it's no fake miss around it or anything of me trying to just keep him confident. I really believe in him and I really believe in how he's playing. And, He's playing really good right now for us. Do you tell him like during the games? Do you talk to him? And oh, yeah, I'm all, I'm always on him. Yeah. Shoot the next shot. If he, if he misses one, you pass it up and tell him to shoot it. Because, um, you know, him shooting it, you know, we have a chance for a rebound. He's going to get up there. And uh, he's probably one of our best shooters. So, yeah. As, as, a, as, a, as the point guard on this team, have you seen him improve his handle with the ball? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I've seen him improve what, though. What has he done? I know he's he, being more confident with yeah. it and not really uh, doing, you know, having bonehead plays like that as much as we all did at the beginning of the season, not just him. So uh, I think everybody's improved their ball handling a little bit because we're, you know, turnovers are coming down and things like that. Coach has talked about young guys that can worry about the last play, veterans look forward to the next play. Has that been a process for you? Have you had to kind of shut off? Worried about what just happened and, and, and focus on the future. Yeah, but I feel like it just comes with confidence. You know, I'm confident in the next play. If something happens, I'm just going to come back and make up for it. Or if somebody else is on the team, I believe in them, they're going to make up for it. So we're always looking on to the next thing and like coming back and things like that. Uh, yeah. Is there someone on the team that tends to be more vocal during, in terms of rallying or when you're in the down by double digits? Um, I mean, I would like to say I'm pretty vocal all the time, but you know, I feel like everybody on the team is vocal at certain points. Uh, it's not really when we're down or when there's a comeback or things like that. It's just um, when somebody needs it. Because uh, everybody knows how to talk to everybody on the team right now. We're just getting, we just keep getting better and things like that. And we're rolling right now. So everybody's listening to everybody. So everybody's voice matters right now. It seemed like the defense triggered those comebacks in the last week. Does that kind of give you the mindset that you need to come out and you have many games come out like that, but you got to bring it from the, from the start. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, we see what our defense can do in the second half, and we just need to put uh, put together forty minutes of that defense, and uh, we'll be good. Jalen Hill has been pretty consistent uh, for a long period of time, but lately Cody Riley has kind of emerged. How 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 good is it for you as a as a point guard distributor to have um, two big guys that that you can rely on? It's amazing. You know, I just throw it to them to go get it, and they kind of take care of whatever. It's gonna happen. They're, they're smart with the ball. They make the right pass. Um, so you know it's great for me playing. Off, I just play off the ball a little bit when I throw it in there and cut and do things like that. So yeah, it is good and it's good for our team too with them scoring and rebounding like they do. It just instills confidence in the rest of us. You know, seeing them work so hard. What does it do for spacing for the offense when you got guys like David Singleton who are starting to shoot better from off the ball? It opens it up a lot. Uh, it definitely opens up more driving lanes because they can't really help off them as much, but. It also is good finding him and seeing him hit those sweet shots he hit last game. He had some big shots last game. You ever played at altitude before? Uh, I don't think I have. Are you uh, looking forward to it or thinking about it at all? Uh, I'm just looking forward to every game, trying to go out there and win every game for my team and my coach. You talked to like any training staff about how to adjust the altitude or anything? I haven't, honestly. Um, that might be something I do now, but <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it too much. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Yeah. Yeah.